going to uh, paint the mountains. We're actually shooting for making the new mountains look like everything around here. And again, a compliments to the uh, artist that painted his mountains so far, because I can't tell the difference between Mother Nature <laughs> and what uh, she did. Uh, so that uh, spoon in your hand, what? What's this? The spoon in your hand, what are you doing? Oh, the spoon in the hand, I just uh, mixed up all the paint here, <laughs> and what I just did is I poured brown paint through the same filter I was using. I use the same filter as much as I can, because like I said, they cost a quarter a piece, mm -hmm. and in my end of it, I mean, there's all the crud that was just mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Are they coffee filters? Uh, no, you buy them. I buy them at you buy them at Home Depot in the paint department. Oh. Let me fill up mine. your water jug there. Yeah, it looks like your water jug things. is it. Uh, I got them at um, you know either Dun Edwards, Home Depot, any paint supply area. And you always want to filter it before it goes into the gun, or as you put it into the gun, or into the spray bottle, because of all that crud that I just. Uh, I mean, there's still tons no, of crud in there, and I've ripped it up. And you can Are you see the... using enamel paint? Or... Uh, no, it's a uh, latex. Oh, you didn't get one of my little flyers here. Well, I did get one, but I haven't read it. Did... Oh, okay. Yeah, what it is, again, it's acrylic house paint, flat. Nothing in nature is shiny unless it's rainy. Okay. Seriously, I mean, you look around, you don't see anything that's glittery or sparkling back at you uh, that's in nature. No, the top of your head. Huh? You top of your head is glittery. <laughs> Uh, okay. I said the top of your head is cool. Whap! Oh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> that gets my ass. Oh, you've got to edit that out. Uh, <laughs> no, leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so, um, you know, we're going to try to make this the same thing. What I'm going to do, I work from dark to light. The purpose of doing flat black is that's your shadows, that's your caves, that's your crevices. Um, we're really going to shoot for this color. I mix this stuff at home. And I have more of it, and again, I just use a Dun Edwards house paint, did it down. And uh, ultimately, we're going to go to this color, and I have that for my airbrush. But I'm going to start with brown, because nothing is one color, right, in nature. Everything's got mismatched. So I'm going to put some dark color first, some lighter color next. And then if you look at the list, I think at step number four, we're going to add a highlight color to it. And then the last step, we're going to go back to black with the airbrush and go back into any gullies and stuff that we covered up too much. When you go with the lighter colors, do you do a full spray or just hit the, uh, the outcroppings yeah, just, and the highlights? We're just highlights going to hit the stuff. Um, at this point, because we're going to move forward, I'm not going to worry about whether I got all the crevices or whether you people did a good job or not. Uh, meaning Why are you looking this way? What I'm looking at here, um, okay, just coming in at this angle, you don't have to get up to see it, but at this angle we missed the black, because evidently we sprayed it from here. We have to also come over and get the, you know, the grooves in this way. So we've got some white spots showing. Um, too bad, you know, we'll, we'll move on, but if I was painting this for you, I would want to make sure they were all covered up. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to make it kind of pretty. And um, I see this color of brown, and of course I see the lighter color, which is going to be next. Right now... Well, I'm just drifting in, and you can probably see the dust here. I wear one of these when I work, because what the hell, you know, I'm getting to that age where... Yeah. Yeah. Halloween handout here. <laughs> okay, so this is a better way to operate, but I'm not going to make it do it. But seriously, I go home with dust on my glasses, so I know it's getting into my nose. Now I don't want to get into the caves because I want the cave to stay black. I do want to work my color into the earth. So all this gray stuff here has to go away. But again, it's creating too much dust right now. Still just a general coat though. You're not looking for so a lot of detail. Just, uh, I'm blending it in. This is a really nice place to blend. That's dark brown, so is what I've got in here. When I put tan on top, 
It's going to look really cool. Now, the nice thing, too, about this, mm -hmm. this thing, oh, what I'm doing right now is a, a real spray. Just a touch opening up the air valves on the side here causes it to spray into a, you know, straight up and down rather than a circle. So now, can I can just drift. I should say maybe miss. And the one part I was talking about earlier, this is going to look great. Right here, as I highlight this, highlight this, and leave this flat. Get that layer look. Okay, is that making sense? Is that looking sort of like it's coming alive, kind of? Then when you get done, uh, do I have my black one up here? Anyway, when I get done, I can go back with black, stuff like that. But you guys are going to practice or play, so let me get some colors. Let's paint done. everything black to get that theatrical darkness. And this is not really finished by any means as I look at it. I, I would spend, you know, all day on something like this rather than three hours and I would go back and forth playing with my earth tones. Um, if I really wanted them there, I'd mix up a red. I could do a little red real quick. Yeah, let's do a little red. Here. Let's do a little red here. I'll do that next. Just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah. Now, you gotta, you got to remember now, see the, uh, the, the uh, moose training that's going on over there. Moose right. training? Yes. Uh, I never knew yeah. how they trained it. There you go. I yes. thought you always were the person in front and going like hell. <laughs> well, he's got a backup. Yeah. I'll bet the backup guy's job is not so great. <laughs> Maybe you want to get that from the other side here.